All right, well, Frank, obviously a, a phenomenal fight, man. Very entertaining. Talk about how it felt kind of being being in there. Uh, man, well, so, well, first off, you know, I, I, uh, I like to take my hats off, man, to um, Damian Brown and him and his camp. You know, um, I was struggling real bad uh, the morning of, you know, trying to make weight, and I, you know, I was unprofessional, and uh, I... I I had to, I had to at least give him a chance of fighting in front of his home country. You know what I mean? And and uh, we're, yeah, we were we were struggling in the morning, and I just want to thank him for giving me the opportunity and th that we get to showcase our our skills together. You know, and man, it was fun. It was fun. I was having a blast, and so, you know, maybe and my coaches are in the back. They were, you know, I was maybe having a little too much fun, but it was uh, uh, man, it's what I do. It's what I love to do. Both of you guys had the same nutritionist going into this fight, it turns out. George Lockhart worked with both of Damien and yourself. Yeah. What exactly went wrong? Was it weird having the same guy, I suppose, working with both you fighters know, going into this fight? You know, I had no idea, and it was nothing on George. Uh, I, I, what happened was um, I cut the water a little too early. Uh, that's what happened. So uh, the day of the day before, right when I was going to start cutting, my my body was actually holding it. You know, so uh, I, I messed up on my part, and um, man. George got me out with George got me with got me a six pack. You know what I mean? So, man, good man. Uh, I I just messed up on my part. Is there a bit of confusion because it seems like a lot of fighters when they come here in Australia, you know, for the fights are on a Sunday yeah. as opposed to how in the states normally it's on a Saturday. Is that sort of a bit of an adjustment period for? Um, not an adjustment. Um, the probably the only weird thing is after the fight we're gonna have lunch. You know, usually it's like after the fight we're gonna go get a midnight snack. You know what I mean? Or even coming to the venue, everything was hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. You know, so that was very different. But as far as training and and climatizing or. Whatever you whatever you want to use it, uh, we're in the same time zone, so it's just getting my morning training in, you know. When uh, when you go to the judge's decision, obviously they start reading it out. How how were you feeling at the time? Did you think you had done enough, and and, and how did you feel as it was being read out? Um, I I felt like I I, I did enough, and I, and I was and I felt like I gave it I gave it my all. Um, what I didn't do with the leech fight and that I felt that I did different I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but man I just felt confident, you know, and uh, the, the the fight with leech I was kind of just embracing it after the fight You know, I just kind of like went to my corner man this one I knew I won and I, I knew I did I did this I got on the cage and I was just embracing the the Australian crowd, you know, and man the, the people the fans here Just they can appreciate a good fight and and uh, that was super dope I think you're the leader in the clubhouse right now for fifty thousand uh, dollars. Perhaps we'll see if the weight thing factors yeah, yeah. in there. Did they talk to you about that? At um, all? You know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, talked to them about it. Um, man, I would, dude. I mean, we, we, you know, we put it out there. The fifty k uh, fight of the night, you know, would would be awesome. But man, if if, if it doesn't happen for me, uh, man, at least give Damian Brown his his award, you know, because uh, you know he he came, he showed up, and I, I hope that at least if if I don't qualify. Man, get the get the guy. His uh, you know his son has a you know his first birthday coming up, dude. So that's a nice uh, nice sentiment there. So you'd yeah, be okay yeah. with getting the award, but no money. Man, but I mean I mean sh shoot, I would love the money, you know. Man, no, no, give man, please, please. I mean you know that's what we do, man. I I, I went out there, I left it all out, and uh, man, I was biting down on my mouthpiece, and we were throwing it and giving the fans what they love, you know. And uh, you know I, was, I uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But um, the guy did his part. We, I did my part, somewhat, and uh, but yeah, I, I would love, I would love for him to at least, at least get some of that, you know. Me, I mean, if if, if you guys want, you know, you guys can, uh, but uh, I, I'll, I'll come back clean and I'll come back like a pro uh, next fight. Maybe they definitely. could just give you some camera gear. Um, I already got my camera gear, so I don't need it. Maybe a task cam, I could take that one mm -hmm. right there. No, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're the first ever fighter who's come out here and started touching our gear and actually knew exactly what we were using. You were, as you described it, nerding out a little bit. <laughs> Where does this knowledge come from about our cameras and lenses and stuff? Uh, so, man, I'm, I'm a huge. Uh, I, I, I find I find media and I find multimedia very fascinating, you know. And uh, I, I can appreciate good camera gear and I, I can most especially appreciate a good story. And uh, you know, as a fighter. You know, going into mixed martial arts, you know, st this starting level, there's no real money to kind of like to support the dream. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, I need to create a media. I need to create something, and I have. I feel like I have a story to tell, and I feel like every fighter has a story to tell. So, if you have, if you have a, a solid team behind you, a solid PR team, and just kind of get you get your story out there, and 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 now you can find sponsors or people that that resonate with your story and support that dream, and 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 you know, be attached to your brand as you climb. You know and you know, we, we win together, we lose together, but man, we're, we're a team and uh, anyway, 
I just find all of that so fascinating and then ended, ended up nerding out and then after my last fight I finally checked out of my Amazon cart you know that I've been having you know all these all these things on Amazon oh, okay man I want a Sony 87s2 oh man, I need this digital recorder whoa okay I'm gonna order a 64 uh, 64 um, uh, gigabyte card you know all this stuff so uh, anyway we can go on and on and on about this I love it absolutely love it and, and I really appreciate what you guys do man because this is this is what helps us get to where we need to be, you know? Just quickly, we're just getting back to fighting. Dan Hardy suggested that there should be a rematch between you and uh, Damian Brown with you making the weight. Would you be open to that possibly in Perth in February? Dude, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, Damian Brown, man, you know, and, and, I, and, I, feel, and I feel like that I, that, I, that I owe that to him, you know? And if that's what the fans want to see, I mean, I wouldn't mind coming back to Australia, you know? Man, let's do it, Damian Brown, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll come in and I'll come in as a pro and yeah, let's, yeah, dude, David, let's do it, man. Let's do it, dude. We're going to do it.